What's going on, guys? Gabe with the View Dork, and we had a boom, boom day. Why? Well, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's just go ahead and look at the chart. For most of the day, we had massive consolidation and then a breakthrough through 40. Now, I talked about this on Twitter. I had the expectation that AMC was going to break through 40, and it was then going to make a beeline to 43, and we actually called it, it called it, it ran up to 48, and then it came right back down to 43 for support. So 43 is now acting as support. What I like about this setup guys is we have consolidation within the last 30 40 minutes of the trading day this is a sign of strength but i want to go on over to the daily here because in the daily we could see somewhat of a pattern we see consolidation and spike up and guys you know those candles are rather dramatic but we saw some consolidation there and then we dipped down we had some consolidation and we dipped down more consolidation and a move up and the thing is guys what supports the thesis for amc being bullish is not just ta but you know the real world has something to do with it too because we got the fda approving the pfizer vaccine and amc being a recovery play you go ahead and you empower more individuals to make them feel more safe and say hey look at you know let's go to the movies let's get the hell out the house i gotta shave my beard i've been a caveman for a year and a half guys this is where technical analysis fundamental players and of course the guys at reddit your DD, it all comes together. We're not all going to be right, but we're all part of this movement and carrying it. And if I hurt some feelings, you know what? I apologize. But guys, look at end results the same. We're rocking and rolling here. Now, let's go ahead and just draw some trend lines here because guys, this isn't wizardry. I am not Harry Potter. We go ahead. We have to draw this trend line here and it is three points. That's how you create a channel line and we have this wedge here and guys look amc played that wedge perfectly now i had talked about the rsi being steady above 50 and above 50 is something you want to see with a stop why because it confirms a trend above 50 confirms an upward trend below 50 confirms a downward trend i know a lot of you guys use it very polarizing as in 70 overbought 30 oversold and then you pick your entries and exits based on that but we also have the histogram here on the macd now we have the macd line crossing above the signal line but we look at the histogram and the bars are steadily getting thicker and thicker why it goes back to the pfizer vaccine we do the ta the fundamental guys say, well, man, the outlook for AMC might be better than we thought because more people are going to get vaccinated than they're going to go to the movies. Then you got the DD guys. Now, not all DDs, great DD, but hey, look at those guys go ahead and give us the conviction to stay in the play. Again, we're all on the same team. I'm going to shit on you. You're going to shit on me. Hey, nobody's fucking right. In fact, I think I'm probably only 57% right when I'm entering and exiting my plays. But my risk management, fucking impeccable. I pull out when I need to. <laughs> Look at whether you're going to hold to 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 800,000. Listen, man, we haven't even gotten there yet. I'm a trader. I'm free to enter and exit whenever the hell I want. So are you. If you believe it's 800,000, go for it. The thing is, is that if I say $5,000 on a Twitter example, talking about real estate, don't come at me. I'm going to reply. I'm going to respond. You know, so with that being said, you know, I got... Nothing but love and hugs and kisses to you guys over at Reddit. Guys, I own 65,000 shares of this fucking stock. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that. There's nothing more that I would like than to see AMC hit 800,000 or 400 and... Ten trillion dollars. That's that's great. But I'm holding for a different reason. It's not Lambos. It's not anything. I really want to open up a school for autistic children, and I want it to be tuition free. That's my life goal. That's my legacy. I hold until I'm able to do that. And do you hold for whatever your reasons are? Whether it be your family, for a Lambo, big house, coke and hooker money, whatever. You just hold. Guys, this is it. This is a green day. This is good. This is something we've been talking about for the long, longest. We've been, we, we've been going through red days and we've been holding and we've been diamond handing. And that's a beautiful thing. But you YouTubers out there who are going to go ahead and call me a paper handed bitch without really doing a due diligence. <laughs> yeah. So much for that, DD faggot. Anyways, this is Gabe with Fabri Dark. I'm signing out. Peace.